Okay, I'm going to give you a little more information and detail here on how to actually put a rubber half sole onto the bottom of a shoe. So this is what it looks like before you start. First thing you want to determine is where exactly you want this placed. So you have to get the right size. This is a size 12 shoe. I don't know if you can see right here. Can you see that? It says large. So you have to get the right size for the right size shoe. A little bit too big is better than too small. So you obviously want the toe and everything covered. You see this, this area here where there's no tread? Okay, so I would say something like that would be perfect. Want it centered, kind of left to right. I don't know if it matters or not, but I'd like to have the word large and the word Goodyear on the sole of the shoe. Now, do you see here the sole of the shoe? It says handmade, made in Spain. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to get it right about there where that's not covered and it still covers the tip of the toe. And now here's the other thing. If you can go on the side of the table here for a minute with my assistant. See where the shoe curves up? You want the rubber past, you want the rubber part past, in other words, you want it far enough back where the shoe, you want the rubber on the part of the shoe that is not touching the ground, okay? So I've already measured this one up. If you come back here, I've already measured this one up just barely covered the word handmade so that we'll be able to see the word handmade and it's going to be placed right about there and you see we use up almost all the half sole so the next step i've done is once i have it kind of placed on by hand i just took a pen okay i'm just going to trace out around we're not cutting on this line i just need to know vaguely where the sole of the shoe is right now I have that. I don't know if you can see it in the picture, but I do have the ink outline there. I'm going to take the shoe, and in this case, I'm going to take a block of wood and a piece of sand paper. And the reason I'm doing this is because, uh, in this case, the leather is extremely slippery, shiny. It is brand new, right? So I'm just going to scuff it up a little bit. And I'm going to probably focus more on the edges I'm going to focus probably more on the edges than the middle because the edges is where it really needed to adhere and not peel up. If it's going to peel up, it's going to probably do so from the edges. If you're doing this on a used shoe, I'll give you an example here. If you're doing this on a shoe that's already been worn, uh, let's say like this one, this is typical, okay? Here's a pair of Bruno Magli shoes, thrift store, $300 shoe, five bucks, okay? So, the sole is not badly worn. This one is good enough to, to be able to do this to. Can you see the tip of the sole there, though? The tip of the, the tip of the, I know sometimes this thing focuses past the shoe. It, it, it's a little bit worn, so you may want to sand that. You don't want to try to glue one of these things to a rounded edge, okay? So, anyway, keep that in mind for prep. I think that's good enough. The next, I'm going to take my glue and my brush. Keep right here. Okay, and this is DAP, weld wood, contact cement. It's very stinky. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do here. You wanna really spread it out, okay? You gotta work really quickly with this stuff. As soon as you put it on the surface, it starts to starts to dry. Now this is contact cement. Contact cement is different from most other types of glues. With contact cement, it has to dry. This may sound really dumb if you've never used it. Contact cement has to dry, okay? Before you glue the two things together. Now do you see the tape there? Do you see what I just did? Okay, when I'm on the edges, I'm going to go from the center out, center out. You need it all the way to the edge, but I do not want to get it on the side of the sole. Okay, and keep dipping and moving fairly rapidly. This probably would be easier with a larger brush. I've seen the professionals do this, and they have a much bigger brush than I have, but that's okay. It takes a little more time, but we're doing it at home. Take this to a cobbler. They can do this for you much quicker, but they'll probably charge you 25 bucks. This will cost me about three and a half bucks. Okay, we're almost there. 
and then a little bit more on the edge. This stuff is pretty stinky. Sometimes I open up the back door to the house here when I do this. I want to make sure I definitely get all the areas. Okay. That look good? Yes? I'm just gonna sit this down here. <laughs> Don't do that. I'm gonna sit this down with the sole up to dry. Now I'm gonna try to put the glue only on the areas of the shoe here that really need it, okay? So I don't know that you necessarily need to watch me glue up this whole thing. I think you kind of get the idea. Uh, so I'm going to have my assistant here stop the video. 